Okay, we got a bunch of lumber. We're gonna make a few chicken tractors. It's, um, they're kind of a Joel Salatin style, short guys, about two foot off the ground. Um, ours we do, they're roughly eight foot by eight foot. So we'll show you how we get those done. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is just lay out all the lumber, get it all sorted. Uh, these are two by three, so they're a little bit less weight than a two by four. They're all eight foot long. I uh, use Craig joints to secure all the corners. This will be um, for the bottom and the top, and then we'll have uprights all the way around. So I got all these uprights cut. Okay, these are 19 inches. So the bottom frame and the top frame plus my 19 inch upright is exactly two feet. And that's the height of our poultry netting. So then this won't have to be cut at all. It'll just run all along the coop. So it's exactly two feet high. Now I've got a bunch of these. I'm gonna put Craig uh, screw holes in. So I'm gonna knock all those out right now. So I got a bunch of these pieces cut and um, got the Craig holes in, the pocket holes. So I'll go around, install these guys, and it'll start looking more like a chicken tractor. No check, no problem. These Craig joints are so great. If you want to do a butt joint like this to keep, uh, especially for our application where we want poultry netting uh, flush on the outside of these two boards, um, the this type of joint is the best. A butt joint where you do screws like through the bottom is just a lot weaker. This joint here is extremely strong, which we need because we're going to be pulling this whole thing across the pasture. So that's why we do these types of joints um, at every, every joint on here is with a Craig jig. Uprights installed. I went ahead and installed this long piece that kind of goes through the middle. This is where our roof will sit. I'll have a couple more cross pieces. Um, I found out that I was a little bit shy at the hardware store, so I'll need to go back and get some more wood. So now I'm starting to install our poultry netting. This poultry netting is great um, to keep, you know, predators out, raccoons, possums, things like that, even snakes, since it's uh, such a small opening. And this stuff is way stronger than chicken wire. Chicken wire over time will um, actually start breaking and, and push through. This stuff's a lot stronger. So let me get this all wrapped up and we'll see how it looks. Sometimes to keep all this netting tight, especially at a corner like this, I'll use um, a long drill bit, or you could use a screwdriver, kind of whatever you have. Stick it through and tighten it. And then like here, I'm holding it with my foot. And then I can go ahead and drive in these, these little U-nails that our, our netting stays nice and tight. Okay, we got all the poultry netting on all the way around. Now I'm starting to put on the siding. This is um, 
it's like the old T111, but our store here, like a big box store, has different types of siding. It's just a real thin, um, real thin ply, but it's all primered and painted already. So it's kind of nice to keep the water uh, repelling off of it. But I'll attach these sides, and this is where the chickens will um, be kind of sheltered by three walls in here, and then I'll put the tin roof on top. Okay, all three sides are on. I'm gonna put a piece of tin on top for their roof. You should probably use uh, roofing screws which have a rubber gasket that prevents water from coming through, but I'm just using these self-tapping screws. It'll be fine. Okay, so I'm laying out, um, I use two by twos for the door, just they're a lot lighter. Um, that way you don't have all the weight of the door and just the, the bigger lumber with the door, it wears it out after a while. So this is real light. I like to lay it out on the concrete so I know it's nice and flat and I'll try to get it as square as possible. Okay, as you can see, we had to go ahead and put the birds out. They were getting too big, uh, even though the chicken tractor is not 100% complete, but we got all the wire mesh on all the way around and then i went ahead and framed out you can see just some support pieces here in the middle and then i use um just some like field fence some fencing for the top this open spot here will be our door that's what i'm working on next so we'll get that going for the wheels i just get these um i think they're lawnmower wheels that at like a Home Depot or Lowe's. And then I use a bolt on the inside, a big fender washer. And then on the outside here, a fender washer, lock washer, a nut. That keeps that solid. And then I just go ahead and lift the coop up and then put these wheels on. When they're small birds like they are now, I always take the wheels off because that even, you know, inch, inch and a half gap, they can get under. So it's good to take those off when they're tiny. So I'll show you how to put this wheel on. I simply just lift the coop up and slide the wheel on and then we're ready to roll it. So a little bit of an upgrade, if you want to call it an upgrade, is just this little chunk of two by three here, which we don't have on our other coops. I use that to hold on to and pick up the coop when I'm taking the tires or the wheels on and off. It's just those little things that really help out before trying to slide your fingers underneath this when it's flat on the ground was really hard. So just a little tip. I'm gonna pose that to mama on my phone. Dad, dad. Yes. So here's the finished product. It's been in production for a few weeks now. It's been doing great. I love the, um, the smaller lightweight door, the handles that we put on the back so we can lift the wheels on and off. Um, it's just been working out really great. If you try and make one of these, let me know. I'd love to see some pictures. Love to hear some feedback. Um, what did you find that you liked in the design? And maybe what did you uh, change up or even, you know, make a little bit different? But yeah, there we go. Enjoy. Okay, hope you all like the build. Um, and again, if, if you try to make one of these, you know, let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear. Um, how it went, love to see some pictures, and yeah, that's it, man. Have a good one.